Top officials have said that the DRDO is in advanced discussions with the French firm Safran for a completely new engine, and this new engine complex is currently being established as a national mission to develop a 110 kN powered engine for the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jet, and the engine is expected to start production within seven years of starting the work. Safran has offered a complete technology transfer to develop the engine, that will be processed under the offset credits from the 36 raffle deal signed in 2015. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said, that HAL is signing an agreement related to the technology needed for manufacturing the engines, and this technology will also be common to the engines of the raffle fighters, that can also be supported by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. The first squadron of the AMCA fighters would need a foreign engine due to its first flight in 2025, but future squadrons would be powered by the DRDO Safran developed engine. The head of Saab India has said that the 74% foreign direct investment in defense is very attractive, and if the Gripen E or Gripen F fighter jet is selected by the Indian Air Force in the 114 fighter jets tender, Saab will establish an advanced industrial body in India, known as the Indian Aircraft Company, which will enable the original equipment manufacturers to have control over the establishment, so that the manufacturers can take responsibility of their product and also meet expectations of the customer. He also said, that Saab is looking at a partnership with Hindustan Aeronautics for the proposed Indian Aircraft Company, which will manufacture and deliver the fighter jets and conduct maintenance refit and overhaul, with design capability for further improvements. After being a long-term partner of Boeing on the P-8 Poseidon and Chinook helicopters for the last decade, India's Dynamatic Technologies has won a contract for delivery of tools for the Boeing Saab T-7A Red Hawk program, which is a new advanced pilot training system designed for the US Air Force, that would train the next generation of fighter pilots. In a major development, India and Israel have created a sub-working group on defense industrial cooperation, and the main objective of the group will be transfer of technology, co-development and co-production, artificial intelligence, and joint export to friendly foreign countries. Defense secretaries and senior defense ministry officials of both the countries held a meeting today, during which they deliberated about enhancing defense cooperation, and this meeting is the first in the series of meetings with friendly countries, in order to boost defense exports, and achieve the defense export target of $5 billion per year by 2025. The Ordnance Factory shells are made under transfer of technology from South African company Denel, which has specified that it can handle service pressure of 340 megapascals and a maximum of six charge modules. The 155mm Ordnance Factory shell was tested by the Advanced Towed Artillery Gun System with seven charge modules to achieve a higher range, but using a higher number of charge modules might have increased the pressure, which might have led to such an incident. A spokesperson for the Chinese Ministry of National Defense has said, that the first two aircraft carriers have completed sea trials and routine training, which was aimed at testing the performance of the carrier's combat systems and equipments. The third aircraft carrier had entered sea trial in May 2020, while the fourth carrier is under construction, and China plans to have six aircraft carriers by 2030. Oh, Mark, drop it.